At 642, a new restaurant is open in southeast Portland featuring a menu style that incorporates a veggie forward concept with some Asian inflection. Cor Harlan live this morning to show us what you can find on the menu at Dirty Habit. Cor? Dirty Habit, this is a new restaurant, had a soft opening this week at Southeast 14th and Morrison. Now, this is primarily a vegan and vegetarian fare with smoothies and some vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly. Uh, kitchen options as well, and it's got something in there for just about everybody. All right, the newest restaurant opening, or one of the newest restaurant openings here at Southeast 14th and Morrison is called The Dirty Habit, with a big emphasis on healthy, fresh, vegan ingredients with some proteins added in as well. This is B.J. Smith, uh, one of the uh, people that's opening this up here. And this Dirty Habit, it's a, it's a catchy name because it's reflected in a lot of the menu offerings and the smoothies too, right? Yeah, it's your, it's your daily guilt-free dirty habit. Everybody needs one of those, right? right? Right, What have we got here in front of us? Uh, this is my personal favorite smoothie. This is the Emerald. Um, really delicious, super good for you. Bananas, cucumber, some spirulina. Work while you talk. Let's pour it up right, here, all right? Work. You got to That's got frozen bananas, frozen yep. spirulina in there, and that is oat milk you're putting in there now, right? Yep. And then we'll add a little bit more banana and cucumber. They're doing takeout right now, uh, but there will soon be some in store dining. Let's have a taste of that, BJ. That looks too good to not. There you go. Look at you pouring it right in the cup. All right. That. Is a dirty pleasure right there. That is delicious. All right, we are back in the kitchen now with uh, some of the other uh, fare that is here. Again, this is an emphasis on uh, on vegan and healthy things. Brian is my uh, Brian is my assistant here in the uh, in the kitchen. Brian, what, tell us a little bit about what you're about tonight. Now. So we're making some handmade gluten-free noodles. Uh, noodles made with brown rice flour. Uh, kind of mimicking the texture of ramen. And that's gonna be served with a charred alum oil, and a blend of leeks and scallions, and just infused in oil. What do you call this broccoli over here? That's on this the grill? It's called Dylon. Uh, right. You can think of it as a Chinese baby broccoli. Chinese baby broccoli, yes. company, whatever it is with this egg. And you've also got some noodles that are gonna come into play here. Now, how does this dish taste? Is this a spicy dish or? No, uh, it's got, and it's not out? spicy at all. Yeah. Uh, it's got a lot of good, like, kind of oniony, scalliony Everything uh, tastes flavor. better with an yeah, egg on it, though, exactly. doesn't it? Exactly. And then we got the sauce pre-made here with some allium oil, some tamari, and palm sugar. I'm just going to toss this. Well, that looks good. Off there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull that out there. The Dirty Habit is now open for takeout mainly on uh, uh, for now, but again, they will have uh, dine-in food here. There's the finished product from in the kitchen here at the Dirty Habit. Boy, something, some things like allium oil and some of these other simple ingredients make for very tasty kitchen fare right there. You saw Brian putting that together. The smoothies are also delicious, using primarily sugars just that are inherent in some of the frozen fruits that they put in there. Dirty Habit had a soft opening this week. They're doing takeout for now, but uh, in-store, in-restaurant dining or in-house in dining, I guess you call it, is on the horizon here as the, as the pandemic sort of uh, loosens up just a little bit there. But a nice, a new, healthy place called the Dirty Habit uh, opening this week at Southeast 14th and Morrison. Yeah, well, healthy and tasty is, you know, that is key. So looks gotta, good. Got to have both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. good combination mm -hmm. there. All right. Thanks, Cor. Well, we've got some big news from the Portland Trailblazers. The